What's up everyone, my name is Jossie and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm a 26 year old software engineer working and living in the New York City metro area. Since moving to the NYC area about four or five months ago, my expenses have increased significantly. So I've made a more conscious effort to better manage my spending. I'd be lying to you if I said I manage my finances perfectly, but hey, I'm trying and it can only get better. In this video, I'm going to break down how much I spend in a typical week in 2022. First, I'd like to say that I'm extremely grateful and just blessed to have the opportunity to move to my dream location, land a role with the specific title that I've been trying to um, attain for a while, which is one, a software engineer title, because technically that does matter, and also being a front-end engineer on a UX team. It's so incredible to work with just very brilliant and creative technologists from the engineering side to the design side and product side. Also, moving to the New York City area has been a unique experience in the sense that I work with so many people who are from other countries, so many different backgrounds. I'm in so many different meetings with people who are literally all around the world, which is something I've always wanted experience. And now that I'm experiencing it, I'm like, I can't go back since we are on the topic of tech careers and pursuing different roles and locations that you like to move to one day, similar to like my experience. Let's hear a word from our sponsor Dice and how they can help you land your next tech career in your dream location. For those who aren't familiar with Dice, Dice is the leading career marketplace for technologists with over four and a half million Dice members in the United States. DICE's online platform helps technology professionals manage their careers by searching for tech roles, attending events, along with employers connecting with highly skilled tech talent. DICE has launched their Level Up with DICE campaign by providing resources such as their ultimate guide to a successful technology career. This evergreen guide offers advice on everything from landing your first tech role to excelling in more senior roles and everything in between. This guide also explores some of today's most important issues, such as hybrid and remote work, along with diversity and inclusion efforts, and so much more in their DICE Technology Salary Report 2022. Now this report has major insight into how technologists view salary trends by occupation, skill, and location, along with how tech workers value benefits like vacation and education. Thank you to DICE for sponsoring today's video and be sure to click this link in the description box. You can learn more about Level Up with DICE and read insights such as diversity within tech remains an issue in 2022 and 13 famous women who changed tech history forever. Today is Monday. I barely left the house. I only left to do some filming and then we actually just got home from Costco and this Costco bill is pretty expensive, but we haven't gone to Costco in a really long time. And one thing that I believe is true is that when we go to Costco, we go out to eat a lot less. So spending $60, for a meal for each for two people is way more expensive than spending like $15 or $10 for a meal. So at Costco, we spent a total of $258.86. Like I said, we haven't been at Costco in forever, so we had to restock on pretty much everything. Turkey ground meat, chicken breast, salmon, paper towels, everything. But you also have to technically discount the $258.86 by $67.73 because we got the redeemable only at Costco reward gift certificate. So technically Monday's total is, let me bring the calculator out, 258 minus 258.86, 258.86 minus 67.73, $191.13. It can be 
difficult to save money while living in the New York area. You really have access to everything, food, entertainment, and fashion. Tuesday was actually a pretty cheap day. I paid for a round trip Metro card, which totaled to $5.50. I decided to get some boba tea, which I actually ended up regretting it because I really didn't need it, but it's hard to pass up on cool storefronts selling refreshing drinks. This mango boba tea came to $8.27. I actually did go into one of my favorite stores, Stussy. It's actually better to do a little bit of shopping on the weekdays so you don't have to wait in line on the weekends. All in all, Tuesday's total came to a whopping $14.12. Wednesday was also a pretty chill day when it came to spending. I worked from home, so that always saves me money since I didn't have to take the transit or be tempted to eat out for lunch. I went to the gym, forgot my water bottle, and paid $4 for this Fiji water. I also went to Trader Joe's to pick up some specific dishes we like to eat that you can really only get there. The Trader Joe's trip totaled to $54.71, so Wednesday's total was $58.71. Thursday was a super gloomy day, but surprisingly, it ended up being my second most expensive day. I had to run a Staples to print, which cost 21 cents. I also had to run a FedEx to ship out an important package, and that totaled to $61.50. So Thursday's total was $61.71. Today is Friday. It's actually almost five o'clock. I haven't spent any money today, so I'm doing a really good job. But I do know that we're probably gonna go out to eat somewhere nice or get some takeout. Just parked the whip and I ordered some food to go from burgers and lobster. It's burger and lobster. I was gonna get five guys, but I was like, I'm in the city. Why would I buy five guys when I can go to a really nice restaurant and get takeout? But $16 is what it costs for me to cross the bridge from New Jersey into Manhattan. And I'm gonna get that in the mail since I didn't have cash. And then also it costs $34, I know. I can't even stomach that, $34 to park my car. Um, I couldn't take the transit to do what I needed to do. I needed to return something and I didn't wanna take the transit. Normally I would, or I would just do street parking, but since the store closed at six and street parking isn't metered until after six, I had no choice. Specifically because I'm in Midtown and I didn't think I'd be able to get away with parking where I'm not supposed to. All right, so to park for one hour, it was $4.35. You can say I'm a little bit annoyed because I paid for that garage and street parking, but it is what it is. I spent $11.22 for Lee and I's drinks at this Starbucks. By the way, if you're ever near Fifth Avenue, this Starbucks made really good drinks, not watered down at all. I also got food from Burger and Lobster. Takeout costed $62.95. Remember crossing the bridge was $16. So this brings my Friday total to $126.17. So my total for this week was $451.84. I feel like I did a really good job. Obviously in this video, I didn't count my like car insurance, car payment, rent. I wanted to focus more so on the day to day spending throughout my week working as a software engineer in the New York City area. I think I did a pretty good job. I've been trying to be more wise and more smart with my spending and investing. So taking the money that I would normally spend on miscellaneous items and actually putting it into the stock market or investing in my channel. Once again, thank you to Dice for sponsoring this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.